Many of you have asked about my recent garage makeover renovation. That's coming up right now. If you've been watching my channel for some time, you may remember these gray vinyl tiles that I had on my garage floor. Hey, I even did a video showing how to install these tiles way back in 2013. Hey, I didn't have any more hair back then than I do now. This is what my garage looked like in 2013 before I put down the tiles. You can see all the stains in the concrete from where the tires sit. And on the left side of the garage, I had four of these cheap plastic shelving units. Fast forward to 2020, and my first project is to paint a couple of different walls in my garage a dark gray. I'm covering up this, what was supposed to be a silver paint. It actually turned out looking more like a light blue. I've also added some blackout film to these windows. They do face the front of the house and they get a lot of west sun, so I'm trying to block out that light. So once I got both of those walls painted, uh, now I took up all of that vinyl tile preparing for a new floor to be put down. Now you may ask, why am I only painting two of these walls? This is primarily a YouTube studio for doing videos and I don't ever show the other two walls, or at least I don't ever plan to. So I'm just painting the two walls, the dark gray, that will be used for my video purposes. I will eventually paint the other walls too. Next, I hired a cabinet maker to make me some custom cabinets to fit this little indention in the garage. And they absolutely turned out amazing. Now, by far the biggest job and the most important centerpiece of this new garage is the new garage floor from Garage Floors DFW. I hired them to come out and completely redo the garage floor with a polyaspartic epoxy coating. Now, here they started by grinding down the old concrete, and you can see here they've patched any little cracks that might have existed in the concrete they filled everything in and once they've done that then they come in with their epoxy and I, I chose a kind of a light gray epoxy here they're just kind of cutting in around the walls next they start rolling out the gray epoxy paint and I mean they really put it on thick it is a heavy duty coating you can see I'm using a squeegee here and then the the guy comes behind it with this uh, commercial roller and rolls it on really thick. Now, I have spikes on their shoes so that they don't get footprints all through the paint. It's a pretty interesting process to see how it's done. And before this epoxy dries, they're going to come back now and use some of these uh, little chips, I guess you call them, and they're multicolored. You can pick your colors, and they just basically start slinging these chips uh, on top of that wet epoxy paint. The paint has not had time to dry or cure yet, so they come in and throw these chips, and they're very, very liberal the way they put these down. They just throw them down, and then they'll come back the next day and actually sweep up any excess chips. Once they've swept up the excess chips, they actually go through here with a grinder to kind of grind down any possible sharp edges that might exist with those chips because they can be sharp if they land in the paint at a certain angle. So they grind all that down and then they'll go back over this with a broom to sweep up any of these little uh, chip particles that got ground off. The last step is applying the polyaspartic clear top coat. And this stuff is really tough. Now they lay it on thick. They'll come in here and pour this out with a bucket. They'll use a squeegee just like they did with the epoxy base coat and then come back with a roller to roll it out smooth. I was super impressed with how well Garage Floor DFW and their team did this job. And I can highly recommend them if you live in the DFW area. Now I've only had the floor down for five months, but you can see it still looks amazing. It's very easy to keep clean. It's super tough. About the only negative to this floor 
is if you drop a screw or a bolt with this pattern, it's very hard to see. You almost have to lay down on the ground and look sideways to see it laying on the ground. But the floor is amazing. And then I had the cabinets professionally painted. Now I did install the hardware on the cabinets myself. And while we're on the subject of the cabinets, let me give you a quick look inside. These all have soft close hinges. The drawers have soft close closures as well. But you can see I can keep all of my stuff really organized. Now I have one shelf down here for all my electronic recharging stations. And it's just been an amazing experience having all this newfound shelf space to play stuff. I've got all the drawers down here for my uh, detailing rags and cleaning equipment. I have another uh, cabinet over here where I have a lot of my other tools and things organized. And then on the far right side cabinet, I have a bunch of these little containers that I put smaller parts in. They're just easier for me to keep up with that way. I should also mention that I converted all of my fluorescent lights in the garage to these 5000 Kelvin LEDs. They are super bright and they really help when making videos. And I think leaving the ceiling, the light gray color actually helps reflect a little more light in the garage for making videos as opposed to the dark walls. The only other thing I'm considering is a neon sign for the back wall of the garage. Now this would show up in the videos. I think it'd look kind of cool. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I get the neon sign or not? I also added my 1972 fully restored Honda Trail 70 to the back of the garage just as kind of a backdrop, something interesting to look at during my videos. If you want to see a restoration video of this uh, Trail 70, let me know in the comments down below and I'll put something together. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up.